Hello and welcome friends, it's Rob here from Explore 8 with the Pegasus Expedition. Stand by. In 2022, 2020, 2262, humanity was at war. A huge sentient and hostile life form known as the Colossals were threatening the Earth, leaving humanity little choice but to start seeking refuge elsewhere. The Pegasus Expedition was the attempt to achieve that. The Pegasus Galaxy was hoped to be empty, but instead it was full of life, and most of it didn't welcome the new civilization, hastily looking for land to settle. The local great power, the Taminan Empire, soon attempted to stop the human advance in the galaxy by war, which culminated in the Battle of Anaba. The expedition was victorious, but ended up destroying an entire Taminan colony and causing the death of the Empress Sintan Solik of the Empire. Welcome to the Pegasus Galaxy. Welcome to the Pegasus Expedition, Director. This is the summer of 2022 demo of the game with a time skip to a later part in the game's story. So basically, this game is a narrative forex in some ways. It's like a narrative strategy with some forex elements of it. You know, there's like colony development and ship combat and diplomacy and the like. And we did an interview with the developers a long time ago. And honestly, quite frankly, I had kind of forgotten about it until I got a key in my email. And so I figured I'd check it out and we could check it out together. So let's do that. Very well, Grand Admiral Perrin. Let's go to it. Four days after Anaba, Yikes. the planet was still burning, but the consequences were slowly becoming clear. We were desperate to achieve at least something and fast. So when we finally got here, we came in with force and very little patience. It wasn't a real surprise where that led us. The Stamanin Empire was the pinnacle of civilization in the Pegasus Galaxy, and it took us less than a year to put an end to that. To us, this place is just a means to achieve an end. The Tamanin Empress died at Anaba. That victory was a miracle aided by pure luck. Now, we don't need luck or miracles anymore. There is nothing standing in our way. We've gained a foothold for sure, but to make it permanent, we need to start settling people here. And for that, we need suitable worlds. Okay, cool. So we're basically like space tyrants. That's great. So the Empress Intan Solik is gone, along with most of the Tamanin Anaba fleet. Nothing on the surface or the orbit of Anaba once survived. We got the planet blown up all right and killed the Empress we were supposed to capture. A big chunk of our landing force was too close to the planet, too. So what the hell happened there? Nobody told me we were going to do that kind of thing. We weren't. That wasn't entirely planned. We knew the shielding system was powered by the planet's core and overwhelmed it. We were softening up their shielding infrastructure. The rest was a complete surprise. Yeah, we'll do that. So no one could say it was a very lucky accident, but it hardly matters now, Miss Jurik. Jurik. It's war, and these kind of things happen. But... Well, yeah, but you can occupy a planet or blow up a planet, Dr. Lawrence, and we just did the latter. We are setting a precedent here, and it ain't a pretty one. Perhaps, but the situation with the Empire has developed rapidly in the recent days. They don't have a clear heir to the throne. What's the situation in the Anaba system? Is there anything left worth noting? Well, a big part of the planet's outer core detonated itself once we overloaded the planet shielding system. I won't go into detail, but it's pretty ugly. You know, debris and remains floating all around? Anaba 1 is gone for good. Unfortunately, some other planets may support minor outposts, but the Anaba system has certainly lost its significance very well. So, what now? What's going to happen inside the 10 minute empire remains to be seen, but the second in command of the, of the late Empress Salik, Admiral Arak Hanari, remains actively hostile, hostile towards us. Well, I don't blame him. He has rallied the remains of the Anaba fleet behind the front lines and is clearly putting a counteroffensive. His chance of success shouldn't be that good given the losses we've inflicted. Can't blame him for not trying. Quick. Can't blame him for trying. Though knowing when it's the time to give up would be good too. A little bit of English issues there. Admiral 
Arak Hanari was a close associate of the Empress and likely a lot more loyal than the rest of their top brass. He has to be quite upset about her death. So for the moment, we should prepare for the best the best the, that we can face. Wait, sorry. We, sh we should prepare the best we can to face the Arak to face Arak's counteroffensive. Lord. Sir, our efforts to establish some infrastructure in the Gyokia system needs your attention. We won't get many chances to set ourselves up right, so please see to it. All right, open the planetary construction view. Okay. Gyoka, I think it was, oh no, I don't remember. Okay, there we go, that was the one. <laughs> All right, so build an outpost. Click here to build an outpost on this planet. Okay, we built one. Funding an outpost. Click on an outpost card below to find the out new outpost. Each outpost type contains different structures that are shown as small icons on the corresponding card. Hover over a building icon to see its details. The power plant. I'm hovering. I want me to do a research outpost, so I'll do it. There are three levels of habitation we can have on the planet and moons, an outpost, a settlement, and a colony. Outposts are the most common and can be built almost anywhere. Settlements can only be built on planets or moons that can properly support human life on some level, making them harder to find, and colonies can be built on planets and moons that are fully capable of supporting human life. They're exceedingly rare in the Pegasus Galaxy, but enable us to construct vast facilities for our benefit. Construction time. So let's do that. All right. And then we're, what's the next part? We've gained control of the Anabas system. Yep. We're going to stop the outpost. Okay, we're going to build three outposts. Build an outpost. And maybe this time we do... There's no minerals, so we'll do a civilian one. Hiring a governor and upgrading an outpost. All right, so we'll hire a governor. Hiring a governor for the system. Click on an officer's card to hire that officer. Each officer's traits that affect the whole system there when once hired, which will improve over time as the governor gains levels. So this does mineral production. This is population growth. I think this is probably a better one. Oh, I can't do that one. You're making me take that one. All right. Build a structure. Build an empty st structure slot to open the structure building. No, sorry. Click on an empty structure slot. It takes one or more turns for a structure to finish construction. What do I build here? Personal wellness. Increases happiness. There's no minerals. So the occurrence of natural minerals is low, which decreases our mineral extraction here by 50%. Lord. So let's do something to help, like, population. Increases population growth. But do we have the food? Does this have food? Do we do food? Mine, shipyard. What's an OD? Overall dock. Dry dock. Advanced munitions plant, advanced interceptor manufacturing plant, rare earth refinery, extracts rare earth, intelligence bureau, deep space telescope project. I don't really like all these these acronyms. Reveals all st star systems within five warp jumps. Fleet repair, personnel wellness. So the only thing that really helps with population is this and I guess it doesn't really matter because we doesn't we don't need anything other than like electricity I guess whatever that is looks like we're doing a few of those as well so let's do a lab on this planet planet too there we go all right and then we need to do one more that's probably one nope we do it here we've already done it there can't do it there can't do it there Nope. There we go. One here. This can be no minerals. God, come on. So we'll make this a military outpost then. All right, so done. Entering or exiting the system view. Click here to enter or exit the system view. Okay, understood. Clicking. Done. Combat with multiple fleets. All right, when multiple fleets are in combat, both sides pick one to... Send in battle, and if the attacker loses, the losing fleet is removed from selection, and both sides pick a new fleet for combat. If the attacker is victorious, the defender loses all their fleets and must retreat. Understood. Flee, of course. Auto. Starting combat. Let's do it. Before the battle, you choose a strategy. Start by choosing the frontal assault strategy. Alright, so the fleets are now using the frontal assault strategy and have formed their battle groups based on that strategy. Now switch to the hunting detachment strategy. It is recommended to preview, preview different strategies to find the best one for the current battle. 
Switch to lightning strike to see if it's effect on the battle group and attack routes. We have now chosen the lightning stri strike strategy. Our troops are ready to proceed with the plan and begin press start combat. I don't really know what the difference was between all of them. I guess I'll have to read them a bit better. Ooh, strategic weapons. Can I do all that stuff? Can I just like drop? We speed it up. We can speed it up. There we go. Victory coming in. Looks like we won that one. Yeah. If a fleet wins a conflict while attacking, neutralize the system and will be captured if the system can be held for a turn. After which, that faction can build in that system. When a faction controls the system, a gray garrison fleet will slowly be formed there to defend it. These fleets can move and will not can't move and will not participate in battles if the system already has three regular fleets, fleets defending it. You can, can move the camera by holding down the lost keys. Okay, so build outpost. We've already done that, right? Wait, hold on a second. I don't know what I'm doing here. There's one, two, three. There's three outposts here. So we've done that. Our fleet was victorious in combat. All right. So... Can I just go wherever I want? Understood selecting and moving fleets. Expanding the fleet card. Expand. These are units in your fleets in their current condition. When your fleet is a system that provides unit construction, you will build new units by clicking on the first entry slot that has a plus icon on it. This is your fleet's current equipment. They are, improvement. they are improvements which you can attach to the fleet or for a cost that further allows you to specialize the fleet for certain types of unit combinations. And this is your fleet's flagship. It's the street's fleet's fl strongest unit is commanded by the fleet's admiral. If it's destroyed, while the fleet still has other units, a replacement flag is automatically provided by the Admiral for, for the Admiral. While a fleet is in a system where flagships can be constructed, you can replace the flagship with one of a different type that you've unlocked. Spanning fleets, we're not going to do that. So what kind of equipment can we add? Nothing. We don't have anything. I guess we don't have anything researched. Alright, so... Let's, uh, let's attack this system. I can't. Alright, that's fine. If you say so. Do I have any other fleets? I do have one more fleet. Alright, let's see if we can attack with this fleet then. Unable to flee if attacking the system. Alright, let's fight. Alright, so cautious advance. Two battle groups. Combat modifiers, negative 10% damage. But if we do frontal assault, it's one battle group. So why wouldn't we ever do extremely aggressive strategy hitting the enemy from all sides with fast deadly weapon strike groups while strategic weapons can be utilized against enemy strong points? Lots of great stuff, but you can't really retreat. And I kind of feel like that's the way to go. I'm going to do it. What happens? Like, Do I like see my ships come in there and start... Looks like I had a stronger group. Can I fight them again? I can. All right, let's do that again. Hopefully, I'll win this time. I don't know why I didn't win the last time. A little bit of a lot of information. I'm not really not sure what's going on. Okay, so that's uncontested. So that means we're going to start moving away from those systems. This one, they're about to win. So are we about to win here? 
wonder what's like I wonder what helps us win. There's a bigger strike group there. I see that. So we've taken this. Alright. It looks like we're at war with the yellow winged people. Who is that? Do we know? Okay, enemies down here. The Hanar click. Military power of 579. They look like they're pretty strong. What about us? What are we? What's our military power? It does not say. Our, our fleet was defeated, but then our admiral gained a level, and then we were victorious, and then another admiral gained a level. I wonder what ours are. They're at 1313. Who the heck is that? Oh wow, they're other humans. Okay. Trading resources, we can trade resources, we can form treaties, we can trade systems. By changing your approach, you can increase the likelihood of a successful deal at the cost of relations. Yeah. Expect a reaction, alright. And then the first expeditionary fleet. I guess that was like are we all like into different we're different different factions within the humans now even. So these guys have 1100 military strength, 1300. That's really nothing compared to the 579. Or that's the 579 is nothing compared to those two by themselves. But I don't know what I've got. Researching technologies. Click on a technology to queue it to be researched. If the technology has prerequisites, they're automatically queued for you. Okay. It wants me to take Hermes radar array. Allows you to see fleets in neighboring nebula system. Okay. We'll do that then. And then I guess this has like one garrison fleet there. And they all have garrison fleets. Wonder who's gonna move on me. I think we're I mean, I don't know. It looks like we're at war with two different places. Roar clan. Where's the roars? Okay, they're, oh, they're right there. Okay. So they could attack me here or there. We should take them out. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. That'll be one less enemy. Alright, so they've moved into that. Oh, that's not good. We'll fight. And we'll do layer defense. Hold the line. We'll do hold the line. Alright, so there's no one there to contest them. Oof, this doesn't look good. So I lost that. Totally lost that. Which means they've cut me off from there. Earth War Council. Sir, the Earth War Council, the EWC for short, has been summoned. It's the main cooperation body with, with our allies, the expedition with the military leaders of all three fleets present. Okay, so there are different fleets. Welcome, dear colleagues. We call this meeting to decide to come and stand towards the remnants of the Taiwanian Empire. We've been at war for months. What exactly is to be decided? Well, there has been some internal developments in the Empire. Admiral Iraq is bitterly fighting against the Zeus fleet around Anaba, but the rest of the Empire has now officially collapsed in the Civil War. Just makes it easier for us, doesn't it? Well, we've got some quite clear signals that the rest of the now de facto independent warlords don't feel Emperor Silic's war against us is really their war. Apart from Admiral Iraq of the Hanar clique, they don't consider themselves to be at war with us. Well, Iraq's resistance remains stiff for now. Indeed, it'd be better to pick them off one by one. Removing the Hana Clark should be a lot easier if we decide to interpret the situation similarly, so that our war is with Salik and her allies and not the whole Tumenian civilization. Well, I agree that makes sense. I still believe we should take over most of the former empire in the long run, though. So we should change our official interpretation of the situation later, once the time is right. Correct, there is nothing stopping us from renewing the hostilities at a later point. Good word. We're conniving. Good, so we'll recognize our neutrality for the time being. Alright, so there's this. There's no tooltip. It says there's a tooltip if I mouse over them, but there's not. 
Researching technologies. Okay, I think maybe there will be once I go back. Okay, so now let's come over here. Minerals. Minerals are basic resources used for the construction of every unit and structure. Rare earth is set for uncommon minerals. Elements is required for the construction of some advanced units and structures. Population represents the total number of your untasked population. Energy and then happiness. We have gained control of the Kamala system. Yeah, well, we lost control of another system, so. Alright, so what we're gonna do is. Oh, that's not good. So that fleet's actually pretty beat up. So I'll have to. Oh, that's close, but we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna do it. fight. I still haven't figured out quite how this works. So clearly I don't know why you wouldn't do anything but lightning strike. A heavily split attack meant to cause pressure to the edges of the system as well as its core. Let's try this. Just to see what it does. So they come in from here and then here and then lightning strike means... Okay so that's actually kind of part of it right? You figure out where they're going to attack first. So these guys come in here, these guys come in here, they come in here. They'll both be jumping in at this point at the same time. Let's see if that works. Alright, so we're gonna win this battle. And then we're gonna jump to this one. Good to go. So we expelled them. We've taken that now. They've taken that, so I'm not a big fan of that. And I really want to take this back, but looks like we're not going to be able to do that for now. All right, so where do I build new fleets? How do I build new fleets? Hire an operative, hire an admiral with his personal flagship to form a fleet. Requires a system with a built fleet base. Okay, so we do that here then. Understood. Hiring officers. So 10% artillery damage, interceptor damage, artillery damage, cruiser damage, frigate damage. Let's take Hana Sanchez. Alright, expand. We're going to add some ships here. That's an artillery. We took cruisers and frigates. We're going to be a part of this one. And then we'll also drop a couple artilleries because artillery is good. And then a couple carriers. And one last frigate. Battle group coordination increases the damage and damage the damage and damage reduction of all units by 5%. Increase the damage and damage reduction of all flagships by 10%. Let's do this one. Oh, so you can do that for all of them. systems here all at once okay so we don't want to do anything here what about here no it looks like there's nothing there either didn't i just take over somewhere that had a bunch of places construction view okay we can do something here no we can't i lied it's because we just took the spot all right that's why so here we could we got 20 research production, 191 of that. Maybe we can get some minerals since they seem to be something we'd need. Rare earth refinery, there we go. Okay, let's, you know what, let's auto build. I have a feeling I just, <laughs> I just screwed this up so bad. Oh man, all right. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. I just did three in a row. Whatever, let's see what happens here. Let's auto build here too. Just kind of get a feel for what they decide to build. All right, so this fleet's in repair. Let's see what happens this next turn. 
Clearly, I'm going to need to repair the sleet and then take these guys out. Hopefully, they don't take me out. But they're exhausted. These, this group here is exhausted. And they did attack it. All right. We're going to have to flee, which sucks. Oh, no. My God. Jeez. It's because they're all repairing. And they're going to destroy us all. Wow. That did not work out for me. So it looks like Admiral Iraq's counteroffense is going to be over soon. It's not like they had any real chance to begin with. He's personally quite devoted to avenging Emperor Silic, but apparently the rank and file troops are starting to lose faith. Should we just wait until Iraq's forces melt on the way on their own? Even if he's weakening, this isn't necessarily going to happen anytime soon, so remaining on the offensive will be better. I believe so. Even with the desertions, Iraq has enough resources to remain a problem for some time. Unless we do something appropriately defensive. Decisive. What would that be? Killing the guy or taking over his capital? Either would prove to, to everyone that his resistance is over. I would prefer the latter option. It's hard to do diplomacy if you're known to plot murders on your enemies. I wasn't suggesting it, just saying that it would do it. Since no other many leaders have shown much interest in continuing Silix War. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just take it. So once we do remains, the effort should be a little bit easier. I wonder why we're actually not like there's three fleets and we're one of them. Why would we not have great relations with all of them? Where's Hanar? There it is. Okay. I feel like I should maybe just start working my way up through here. Can I do that? Yes. Alright, so I will. We're just gonna go auto that. Let's see what happens when we auto. Alright, good to go. So sometimes it's just better to auto. There's no other fleets there, so their fleet over here has to move quite a bit in order to get to where we are. Although this is not, can we build more here? We can't. That's because it's just an outpost. All right. How long until these are done? Garrison fleet, can we add, we can hire another admiral. Okay, so with your fleet, Expand you. Can we? Oh, it doesn't like autofill, does it? So you were good at interceptor and unit avoidance. We're gonna. Oh, I don't have any interceptors. Except the carriers probably have interceptors. They do. All right. So we'll do four of those. We'll do a couple, of the artilleries, a couple of cruisers, and then end it with a couple of frigates. And is there anything that gives them even more flagship damage? Cruisers and frigates. Carrier and artillery. We'll do that so that we can actually reinforce our strengths. All right, good to go. So we're moving in the right direction, I guess. I don't know. Looks like we're doing all right. I think we're. Oh no. Where'd you come? Where'd you go? All right, well, you're going to fight our garrison fleet, which means you're probably going to take it, actually. I had a feeling they were going to move on something like that, but I thought that layer defense, defensive levers are far from the core, combat modifiers, three battle groups. Oh, this I see what that does. It keeps things a little bit more centralized. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna do this actually. So they're gonna come here. Oh wow, they're gonna just destroy us quickly, huh? This is sad. Wow, I did not expect them to beat us up that badly.
Alright, I still have to figure out this strategy stuff. That did not go well at all. Oh, that sucks. Alright, so they basically took that back, that whole section back. We've got a situation going on in the boat system regarding our ex roar. Some ex roar McClan ma male strike fighters. They're resisting our occupation with guerrilla style hit and run. It's about to have famously have trouble, trouble pacifying. Mail strike systems, and I can see why now. We should respond to the situation. Use con to try to contact them, see if we can negotiate. You know what? We'll do that. We're gonna. Okay, well, um, okay, sir. We'll show them that we're good there. That we're there to spend money on them. Good. <laughs> uh, figured if we built their infrastructure, maybe they don't want to kill us anymore. All right, we're gonna have to move these guys back over this way. Cause look, I think they're gonna, yeah, they're able to start moving it. Okay, what are we doing over here? Almost done with that, that's good. And then we've built some stuff. I don't know exactly enough to what to build yet, so that's why I'm le letting it do its thing there. I have a feeling they're going to try to go for Zeus here. Sorry, the fuck error. <laughs> the pock hair system. I'm going to just not pronounce the PH as I would normally. All right, we're going to take this back. Thank you. Have a great day. Fight. All right, so if we take detachments, so the bigger the frontal assault means one battle group. Cautious advance is two battle groups coming in from two different sides. Negative 10% damage, 15% damage reduction. This frontal assault is plus 30% damage, plus negative 25% damage reduction. I'm going to do this. Oh, that's plus 60% extra casualties. Fast, brutal, and reckless focus assaults at the heart of the enemy system with the aim of crippling their command. So like, one battle group with negative 25% damage reduction. Let's try cautious advance. Two different systems. Seems to have worked. All right, good to go. All right, we're gonna leave that fleet there too. It looks like the only fleet that's really. Oh no, there's two fleets hurting. Okay, how are you guys doing over here? We got a garrison fleet, and then we have one fleet that's not quite finished. All right, we're gonna have a second fleet ready to go here soon. But I do want to start figuring out ways that I can... It looks like the only way I can have more fleets built is if I have a system that's worth a damn. So I need, like, habitable systems so I can put, like, ship building infrastructure there. Hey, I, I think I like this game. <laughs> I think I'm really enjoying myself, actually. I'm surprised. I There's a lot more to it than I expected. So we've completed that. What can we do here? Advanced firing, increase the damage of all units by 10%. Yes, we'll do that. We need that right now. But I dig it. There's a lot more nuance to this than I expected. I definitely need to find a habitable system, like something that's capable of holding on to shipbuilding infrastructure so I can start doing that. So I think, I don't know how to find that. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I guess it would have to be somewhere where Okay, so something like this. Civilian outpost. Rebuilt outpost increases 
can be upgraded to settlement. So can we do that? How do I build a settlement? Civilian outpost. How do I build a settlement here? Can be upgraded to settlement. How? I need to know how. Because I feel like that's where I need to go, right? Like, settlement is required to unlock this. All right, so that's Yakasi 1. We're going to go into the Yakasi system. And we're going to go to 1 here. And we're going to figure out if I can, like, out. Nope. Upgrades from civilian outposts can be upgraded to colony. Upgrade to colony. Okay. Production one turn. Why can't I do it, though? only be built on habitable planets this has hostile white light maybe that's part that's probably part of the problem all right so let's come back out let's see if there's any way for me to figure out like easily where settlements can be built unbuilt upgrade available so command beacon can be upgraded to what command station okay and then That's what can be built here. Outposts can be built. Upgrade available. The Akasi Black Hole. The Red Star. Let's see, what can be built here that's upgradable? Not that. Not that, not that, not that. So why does it say that it can be upgraded? Because this beacon can be upgraded. There's got to be an easy way to figure out where... Yeah, I will definitely want to know how to upgrade outposts. Like, what am I missing here? The Gaoka system is got the capability of making admirals too. Alright, so artillery damage and flagship damage. We're going to take her. And we're going to expand here. And we're going to build some artillery. And then the command ship's good. So we're going to do a couple carriers do a couple eagles for cruisers and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple more artillery and then can we actually make artillery better let's see artillery damage yes let's do that what else can we do these are all things we research eventually I imagine flagship reinforcement increase the damage and damage reduction of all flagships yeah we'll take that too we're only 69% happy Long-term happiness. Well, short-term happiness below. Okay, wait. Why are we happy? Happiness overall. Happiness of your civilians. Like, how do I make them more happy? I know I saw the one thing, the like, one building I could build that made them happy. So maybe that's something I have to find and do elsewhere, more places. All right, I had a feeling they're gonna come back this way. Sir, we've achieved some great things here militarily. When jumping into a completely unknown environment like we did a year ago, there's always a risk that your capabilities aren't up to the circumstances. I never doubt our personnel. People are as fired up as ever, but I admit I did doubt our ma material. I did too in situations like this. It's looked to look, look and looks like we're lucky. Why is that? We've been at war for decades. These ships and weapons have been tried and tested. Every system and weapon is designed for a specific purpose, and those purposes are different here. Our enemies are different, so our needs are different. And luckily, they're not as different as they could have been. Our weapons work, our shielding system designs work. They could be better though. Well, for sure. That always could. They always could. And I believe Dr. Lorenz has allocated some of his staff to find new ways to improve them. But better ship designs don't win you the war or even the battle. When the ship is good, is good enough, improvements beyond the that become more and more trivial. Basically, we don't need the best ships in the world. We need good ships quickly enough and at a reasonable price. You're not wrong exactly, but there's nothing wrong in pursuing perfection. All right, cool. So, lifeline, hold the Zoka system. Yeah, that's probably a big thing. And then we have to capture the Hanar system. So it looks like they only have one more fleet left, which is this one. Maybe there's something else that I can't see because I don't have the ability to yet. But I can't, okay, let's see, can I? 
I can hire another admiral to make this another three fleets. So frigate damage and artillery damage. Go ahead and let's do that. And we'll expand and we'll do some frigates. Artilleries. And then we'll do two carriers and two cruisers. And we're going to do artillery and frigates. And hopefully that's pretty good. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. And trying to figure this game out. But I like it so far. It's different. And I could definitely dig different. So, you know what? We'll continue to play this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But this is the Pegasus Expedition. Expedition. It's supposed to be like a more narrative-driven 4X game. And from what I've played so far, I'm actually really enjoying it. It's different enough to feel different. Like, unique, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> it's different enough to feel different. That is the most articulate thing I've ever said. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's different enough to feel fun. I wish I could see them more. It's kind of like a weak diplomacy screen. But yeah, I mean, I, I could see how this game could be a lot of fun because it's definitely... Wait, are all these the bird people? I forgot what they're called. The ones that like we're at war with now. Looks like they are. Wow, did we come in here and just like... There's only one type of person out here. Oh, no, there's more. Oh, wait, no, those look like bird people too. Cat people, bird people, still bird people. So I thought there was more than one race, but I guess it's just one race that we're out here. And there's a bunch of different factions of that race. Maybe there's more to this? I don't know. Because I know it's more narrative driven, so maybe that's just not unlocked yet. So, oh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about learning this game. I really am. So stay tuned as we'll play through this. I think this is just a demo, so we'll have to, we'll have to probably end up stopping at some point. But I'll keep playing until it's done. Until then, this is Rob from Explominates. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep exploring.